Brethren, I welcome you to today's service in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I also welcome you to the month of November, the month of miracles, signs and wonders, the month of testimonies, the month of deliverance, the month of turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this month we are going to bring to you an episode titled No More Tears in Zion. No More Tears in Zion. And the Lord will wipe all tears. Those who have cried before, the Lord will use this month to wipe away your tears in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord will use this month to attend to all your tears in the night, to all your cries, all your wailings, all your complaints. Be rest assured that the Lord is going to turn things around in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When he says a thing, he brings it to come to pass. Whatever the Lord says stands in your life from today. In the name of Jesus, cut off it. I want to take you straight to the book of Psalm, Psalms. Psalms 126, verse 1 and 2. The Bible says that when the Lord turned again, the captivity of Zion, we are Zion. You are part of Zion. When the Lord turns again, the captivity of Zion, we, we are like them that dream. We are like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they that have troubled us, they among the heathens, the Lord had done great things for them. This month is a month of laughter. This month of November is your month of laughter, is your month of congratulations, it is your month of glorious moment, month of turnaround. Maybe you have failed in the past, this month of November will usher in a divine success that you have never expected before. For those that believe, for those that know the God, they saw, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. This month is your month of exploit. You have been strong all this while. The Lord has strengthened you all this while up to this moment. Just a month, let me just say two months to go, and the year 2021 has ended. This month, this month of November, Masha Kandana. The Lord is going to use it to turn things around in your life, to bring laughter to your to you and your family, to bring laughter to your generation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and to bring shame to those who have mocked you, to those who have thought you are finished and gone. This month of November, I prophesy, shall be a month of glorious, glorious moments. It's a month of King of Glory that the name of the Lord will be glorified in Zion. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as you receive it, as you share this message, the Lord is going to turn things around unexpectedly, suddenly. You will see glorious things happening in your life. You will see glorious things happening in your family. You will see glorious things happening in your going out and your coming in, even in your business. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible said that uh, it, 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 at the time that the Lord will come and turn the captivity, the troubles, the travails of Zion, turn it around. They will think that they are dreaming. By the time the Lord steps in, the Lord will show you that he is God. So in today's episode, get ready to hear what the Lord is going to do for you. Today's episode is titled, God is Stepping In. God is Stepping In to turn things around. God is stepping in to turn the captivity of Zion around. And so, that those who saw them yesterday, those who are even looking at them now and concluding that they are finished, they will rethink. They will have another opinion that is based in the, in the opinion of Jehovah. God has a plan for you and I. God has a plan for his people. And for this reason, Ah, just get prepared in this month of November. Things will turn around for good. 
things will turn around in your family. All those tears you have shed while you wanted to sleep at night, you remembered something, and then tears began to roll down your cheeks. That tears shall be wiped away this month. Those tears of yours shall be wiped away this month. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God is going to intervene. God is going to step in. And when he steps in, ah, nobody can stop you any longer. They may have tried to stop you, but this time around, they are going to fail. They are going to fail. Any attempt again to stop you, the Lord will step in and wipe them out. And wipe them out until they are seen no more. Both the Egyptians, both the, the, the conglomerates of those who have conspired to, to, to destroy you, they will perish and you will see them no more. This is your month of laughter. This is your month of laughter. This is a glorious month for you. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with songs of joy, with songs of, of, of jubilation, songs of happiness. The Lord has done something great. The Lord has done something new. And that something will start from today. That something will start from this week. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am so confident in the word of God. I am so confident that when God says a thing, he brings it to come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve a God that when he says it, he will do it. Praise the Lord. When he says it in his word, he will do it. He speaks to men through his word. He speaks to men through the the, the, the rema from his word. From the logos of the world. Praise the Lord. And the Lord is speaking to you today. That the month of November. The month of November. Shall be your month of laughter. Shall be your month of glorious songs. Songs of joy. And the month that your enemies will know. That God has stepped into your case. Then they will say. And then they will say the Lord has done great things for them. So shall it be to Zion, so shall it be to your family, so shall it be to my family, so shall it be to the church of Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to take us straight again for what the Lord is about to do. The number, verse number three, he said, the Lord has done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Whereof we are glad. <laughs> the month of gladness, the month of joy, the month of laughter, the month of dancing, the month of rejoicing. I'm a shakateli abu. You know the, the 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 number eleven is a covenant. It's a covenant number. It's a covenant figure. Eleven, eleven tribes of Judah. I mean, the eleven tribes of uh, of of, um, of Israel. Remember. These are the appointed heirs to the throne of God. And you are not left out. You have been drafted into the lineage of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. You have been drafted to the lineage of Jesus Christ. And therefore, therefore, you are going, you are going to experience great things. You are going to experience great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will not miss it. You will not miss it this time around. The enemy will not triumph over you any longer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am happy that the Lord is speaking to us in his word. In the book of Psalms, Psalms is a book of joy. It's a book of war, a book of battle. The Lord has done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. And we are praying and saying, God, turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. You have sown a lot by believing God. You have sown a lot financially. You have sown a lot using your time to serve the Lord. And so this more the Lord will remember you. The Lord will remember he that goeth forth and weeps bearing Precious seed 
shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheep with him. The Lord is going to bring a lot of goodies for you in this month of in this month of November. Praise the Lord. In this month of November, get ready for breaking forth. Get ready for breaking forth, brother. Get ready for testimonies. Get ready because the Lord is going to fight your battles for you. The Lord is going to fight your battles for you. Praise the Lord. The Lord is going to fight your battles for you. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to fight our battles. The Lord is going to fight for Zion. And Zion will have peace. Zion will have peace. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 3, chapter 33 verse 3, Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. This month is the month that when you call unto God, God will answer you speedily. God will visit you. God will we answer you even more than your expectations. Call unto him this month of November. Whatsoever you think that you have you have missed in the past months, they will all come together this month. The happiness, the joy, the weddings, the the the, 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 the weddings, the proposals, the money that you you have you have chased from January to October in this month. The Lord will give them freely into your hands. If you can open your mouth and call unto him. If you will believe him. If you will trust in him. He will not disappoint you. He will not disappoint Zion. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He will not disappoint you. He will not disappoint us. Even as a church. Even as, even as a body of Christ. Hallelujah. I believe God and his word is here and amen. He can never say a thing that he will not do. And those of you watching me and sharing this message, something spectacular, something special is coming your way for that particular exercise of sharing this message, for the particular exercise of, 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 of subscribing to our channel, for the particular exercise of commenting and, 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 and accepting what the Lord is saying at this moment. The Lord is going to turn things around. Hallelujah. I believe God and I know that God can do it and I know he will do it and he has started doing it. The Lord is good all the time. Isaiah 33 verse 10. I want to take you through this message today to show you that the Lord is stepping in. The Lord is stepping in today. All the battles that are going on those of you that are in the enclave called Nigeria, you may be mourning now, you may be groaning now, you may be gnashing your teeth now, you may be in pain now, you may be in agony, wherever you are all over the world. You may be in agony because of the enemy, but listen to what the Lord has in stock for you. In this month of November, from this month of November moving forward, Verse 10 of Isaiah 33 said, Now will I rise, say the Lord. Now will I rise. The Lord is about to step into your case. The Lord is about to step into your problems. The Lord is about to bring healing to the land. The Lord is about to bring healing to your family. The Lord is about to bring healing to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you cannot serve God in vain. You cannot serve God in futility. We are serving a great God. We are serving a mighty God. We are serving a God that has sat by fire. And he will answer you today. He will answer you from today. He will step into your case from today. Even as you begin to share this message, the Lord is going to turn things around speedily in your case. He said, now will I rise, say the Lord. Now will I be exalted. 
Now will I be exalted. Now will I lift up myself. The Lord is about to take over your battles. The Lord is about to take over the battles of your family. The Lord is about to take over the battles of your generation. The Lord said he will arise in your case. He will arise in the case of your family. He will arise in all things that are going on, trying to destroy you, trying to destroy your generation. The Lord said he will step in from today. He said, now will I rise. Say the Lord, not a pastor, not me. Praise the Lord. The Lord said he will rise up for you. He will rise up to your case. He will rise up to the enemy. To show the enemy that he is your God, that he is your father, that he created you for a purpose. And that no man can stop that. Which God has purported in your life. Now will I rise, say the Lord. Now will I be exalted. <laughs> when the Lord rises up in the case of humanity, the, those, those who, who think that they have power, their powers will become powerless. Their powers will become null and void. Jaws at the blast of the nostril, at the blast of the voice of the Lord. All demons must bow. All powers, both in, in the heavenlies, both on the earth, both beneath the earth, both in the realm of the spirit and in the physical, must bow. When God rises up to an occasion, God is rising up to that occasion this morning. From this morning, things will never be the way they seem to be. Things will turn around. Things will turn around, brother. Things will turn around, sister. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now will I rise, say the Lord. <laughs> now will I be exalted. Now, now, now will I lift up myself, say the Lord of hosts. Now will I lift up myself, say I'm the King of Kings. Now will I lift up myself. If men refuse to lift him up, he can lift up himself and, uh, and approach your case with all manner of seriousness to deal with it once and for all. Today, the Lord is stepping into your case. The Lord is stepping into your case. Brother, the Lord is tapping into, into your face from today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, verse 11 it says, You shall conceive chaff. It's addressing your enemies. Because when the Lord rises, so many will fall and so many shall be lifted. So many shall be lifted with him. You, there's Zion. Zion shall be among those that will be lifted with Jehovah. He said, and now I will lift up myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he is ready to consume your enemies. He is ready to disgrace your enemy. He said, the enemies shall conceive charm. It's addressing the enemy. You shall bring forth stumble. Your bread as fire. Talking to the enemy. Because his rising up is against your enemies. His rising up is against your adversary. His rising up is against those who want to destroy you. He's addressing the enemy. He said, you shall conceive chaff in your mind. You shall gang up together to plot what you will do to this group of people. You, you have planned. You can do that. You can gather. But since they are gathered, it's not of the Lord. The Lord said he's going to rise up against them. He's going to lift the standard against them. Just like a flood, will he chase them out of your life? Like a flood. He will flush them out of your life. He will drain the swamps. Those friends who hang around you, looking for a way, looking for information from you, so that they can use it against you. Ah, the Lord is going to rise up for your case. The Lord is going to drain the swamp for you. 
You, since you cannot identify them, the Lord is going to identify them for you. The Lord is going to shame them, put them to shame completely for your sake. They are becoming closer. You think they are your friends. They are not your friends, my friend. They are not your friends. They are spies set against you. And so be careful. Be careful how, how, how you accept people into your life. Be careful about those who come near. They only come to drain your strength. They only come to spy on you. They only come to bring pains to you. And so from henceforth, you have to learn how to spot them, how to identify them and flush them out of your life. But if you cannot do that, the Lord is going to expose them by fire. He said, you shall conceive, you shall conspire, charm. You want to turn my children to become chaff. But you are the one who is becoming chaff. You shall bring forth stumble. You make, you plan for people to fall. You, your breath can even come as fire. And that fire will devour you. This is the portion of the enemy. This is the portion of the adversary. Those that are plotting evil against you. These are their portions in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You, 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 you will be, you, you, you will, there is a satellite from the Lord that will be watching, watching, scanning to spot them out for you so that you will be able to identify them. They only come around when things are going well, when they want you to do something for them. But when they, they, they perceive, when they perceive, that you need them, that you want them to do something, they will disappear. Only to appear again when they think that you are finished and gone. When they think that you are dead, they want to come and, and know your state, your state of health. They want to come and know your state of mind. They want to come and know the state of things in your life. And that is when they will appear again. That's when they will appear again to find out if you are dead. But you know what? God will disappoint them this time around. God will disappoint them because you will not only live, you will live upon that life. You will live upon that life, healthier than them, more successful than them. I'm telling you the truth, you will be shining more than them. All the imaginations in their hearts shall turn around and consume them. The Bible said that they will even conceive a, a chaff in their minds. They will, they, they, they will even want you to fall, but you will not fall. Because if God be for you, who can successfully be against you? You will not fall. He said even their breath, as they are coming, like a roaring lion, to devour you. Let all the python dancers, let all the crocodile dancers come to your community. They will not see you, because the Lord will be for you. And the Bible says that the Lord said their fire will kindle against them. Their fire will kindle against them. I learned that some, some senior officers in the Nigerian police force are even resigning. Because of who? Because of you. They don't want to be connected with what will happen to you so that they will not be devoured. Some of them have senses. Some of them have received from the Lord, heard from the Lord. Get out of the way because there is a fire that is going to kindle against those who are hunting my people. There is a fire that is coming from above that is going to kindle against those who are after my children, those who are after my people. And these guys who are wise enough, they decided to quit the job. They decided to quit us ceremoniously. Praise the Lord. They decided to quit us ceremoniously because the Lord's anger has been stirred up. The Lord's anger has been stirred up. For the people of God, for the indigenous people of Nigeria, for the indigenous people of Biafra, for the indigenous people who are called by his name. For those who are called by his name, they can be Fulanis, they can be Hausas, they can be Igbos, they can be Yorubas. In as much as you are connected with Jehovah, this fire that is coming will not devour you. 
But those that are incensed against the people of God, those that are incensed against the children of God, the fire shall consume. The fire shall consume. And so, you are going to hear more, more. You are going to hear about more people resigning and leaving, leaving, leaving the service because they don't want to be destroyed by the Lord himself. They don't want to be destroyed by the Lord himself. Verse 12, and the people shall be as the bonnets of lime, as the tongues cut up, shall they be burned in the fire. Those guys who are hunting you, they shall be like what? They shall be like bonnets of lime. Bonnets of lime. You know what? Lime, limestone. When they are kindled, when they are heated up, yes, they will know the difference between heat and hotness. You know, some people say that today there is, is heat. Uh, there is heat everywhere. Then when the when the hotness comes, they will know that that one they call heat is nothing but air condition. They have not seen anything yet because the Lord is stepping into the battle. The Lord is coming to the battle and the battle will be put in this area very soon. And as cause, they shall be cut up and be burnt in the fire. They shall be cut up and be burnt in the fire. Those who plot against you are they members of your family are they your friends, those pretenders, those who pretend to be friends? They come to take information to your enemies. They, they come around as spies to go and tell your enemies what, <laughs> what they, they have seen, the, the state at which you are, so that the enemies will now know what next to do to destroy you. My friend, wait. The Lord is about to step in. Verse 13, he says here, ye that are far off, what I have done, and you that are near, acknowledge my mind. You will hear it. You will hear what the Lord can do. You will hear what the Lord has done for Zion. Those, those that are far off, those that are hearing what is going on in your life, and rather than helping you out of it, they are putting more fire they will hear what the Lord has done. Those that are close to you, laughing at you and saying, let's see how you can survive it. They will see what the Lord can do. Verse 14, the sinners in Zion as well, those that are part of you, you think they are part of Zion. You think they are, they are your brothers. You think they are your sisters. You think they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they belong to the same to the same kingdom of light like you. The Bible says, the sinners in Zion are afraid. They are fidgeting because of you. They are afraid. Fearlessness has surprised the hypocrites. Hypocrites among us. Saboteurs. Hypocrites among us. Saboteurs shall be exposed. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? They are among us. You think they will escape the fire? <laughs> Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? It's a question. You better change. You better repent before it is too late. You may be in Zion and you are not repented. You may be among us, but you are against us. You better repent before it is too late. The fire will burn. Fire will fall. The burnings of coal and limestone will kindle against you. Friend enemies. Friend enemies. Family enemies, all around, 
Everywhere you go. Mad people everywhere. And they think they will go scot-free. The Lord will remember them this month. The Lord will fight your battles this month and set you free from the captivity of these guys. They have come to frustrate your lives. But just in a moment, in a jiffy, the story will be different. The story will be rewritten. He that walks righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that despises the gain of oppressions, that shakes hands from holding or, or removes hands from holding of bribes, that stops his ears, blocks his ears from hearing of violence or blood, and shuts his eyes from seeing evil. The Lord will save. Those of them that reject bribe to, uh, to sell his to sell his brethren, the Lord will step into your case as well. The Lord will set you free. Look at the, the, the AIG or DIG of police in Nigeria that resigned. They rejected what was given to them to destroy their own people, to destroy the people of God. And they said, no, instead of me, let me just, instead of this, let me just end this job. I can't be part of this destruction. I can't be part of it. And you see what happened? Even during the election in Anambra State, we didn't hear much of, uh, of that again. But before the election, that, ah, no, 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 no. And these guys, no, 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 I cannot be part of this. They were killing people, burning people's houses, destroying people's homes, shooting live bullets into crowds, into homes, burning their homes, people in there and uh, uh, and some people on the road. For what? They just put it on an election. With evil plans of the enemy. And this guy said, no, 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 I can't be part of this. When they saw the handwriting on the wall, Takana, Takana, Ufasi. When they saw it, they decided to quit the job. And damn the consequence. The Lord will feed them. They decided to resign. When I hear that news, I said, These are people who hear from the Lord. When you bear arms for government, and governments are giving you unlawful commands, unlawful orders, you have the right to disobey such unlawful orders. You have the right on lawful commands. You only obey lawful commands. Lawful commands. 34,000 military officers to go and to go and, and do what? Supervise one state election. 34,000. Terrorists are in the, in, in the Northeast. Bandits, so they call them. Are there? Hatchmen killing people here and there. Nobody goes there to attack them. Peaceful people who want to do their legitimate democratic uh, um, uh, 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 oblation, or what do they call it? To exercise their, their democratic franchise, you deploy 34,000 soldiers. And 20,000 other, uh, uh, other armed, armed, armed force groups, paramilitary, to go and attack. I even understand that only 5,000 people came, 5,720 people came out to vote. Out of how many millions? Out of 2 point something to 3 to 4 million people. Only 5,000. Then you. you 34,000 soldiers, 20,000 uh, 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 civil defense corps, and only God knows the number of policemen deployed over these 5,000, against these 5,720 people. If 
even if it's against against those million, two million people that are in that state. Why? This people. And you think the Lord will keep quiet? The Lord will step in from today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Christ. Even the sinners in Zion, they shall be burnt with fire. And so some of them reside, they don't want the fire to burn them. And those who reject Christ, those who despise the gains of oppressions, and those who do not want to hear violence, who do not want to be partakers in violence against the people of God, they shall be saved. Verse 16, he shall dwell on high. His place of defense shall be of the munitions of the rocks. Bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure. Those that resign, those that are resigned because more are going to resign. The Lord is saying that he will defend you. The Lord is saying that he will provide bread for you and your family. That he will provide bread for you. Those that refuse to take bribes, those that close their ears to violence, close their eyes to blood. They don't like to see those things. And they resigned. And they, they, they took themselves out of it. The Lord said, I should let you know today that you shall dwell on high. He will promote you. Your place of defense shall be within the ammunition of God. Bread shall be given unto you, and your waters shall be sure. Your blessings shall be sure. Thy eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is very far off. You are going far. You are going far. The Lord will take you far. You that you have respected his people. You refuse to partake in the destruction of his people. The Lord will take you far. The Lord will protect your family. The Lord will preserve your family. Even as you are. Standing and watching and, 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 and listening to what I'm saying. If you do not partake in hurting people, the Lord will take you higher. Separate yourself from those who kill. Separate yourself from those who conspire to hurt people. Separate yourself from them. Those who come to you to gossip. Run away from them. For the fire of the Lord will kindle against you if you don't take time. The fire of the Lord will kindle against you. But that is my advice. If you like, continue to do what you are doing. Continue to do kidnapping. Continue to do Yahoo. The consequence is coming. The consequence is coming. Continue to defraud your fellow human beings. Continue to, to, to kidnap people, kill them, and sell their parts to make money. The consequence is coming. It's coming. And when it comes, don't, 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 don't claim that you are innocent. Don't claim. If, it, if it's not coming to you now, it will come to your generations of born. Don't claim that uh, uh, my children are innocent. Because the sins of a father, of a man, will be visited unto his children, yet unborn, up to the third, fourth, fifth, even up to tenth generation. Because it will be transferable from them. It will be transferred to their children. It will go like that. And so it is better for you now to surrender unto Jesus. Give yourself to Christ now. When there is time. Christ said he did not come to even beg you. He, he, nobody is begging you to repent. You must be forced to repent because all tongues, every mouth, all tongues must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whether you like it or not, you must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. 
Because the fire is coming. The fire is coming. Isaiah 29 from verse 1. You that you are sitting comfortable in Zion and doing evil. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Woe to Ariel, to Ariel, the city where David dwelt. Woe to Jerusalem. You know, jo uh, David dwelt in Jerusalem. <laughs> you are dwelling in Zion, and in Zion you are you are supporting evil. You are doing evil. Woe to you, because the fire will kindle against you. You are in Zion. You support evil. You do evil things. You go into rituals in order to become a mega pastor, to own a mega church. In order to, how many years are you going to live on this earth to even eat those things? You want to go ritual in order to have a mega church so that you become a mega pastor. You drive jets. You drive big cars. You wear suits. You would. You are going to pay for it. Woe to Ariel, to Ariel, the city where David dwells. Add year to year and know how many years you are today. And know how many more you are going to live. <laughs> uh, let them kill sacrifices, yet I will distress them. Let them give offerings. Bring uh, the tithes and all these things. Into the, ah, God say we distress, distress them. Evil right in Zion. Outside Zion. Right in Zion. They are there to spy the church. You can imagine. They went and arrested five people in a church in Nigeria. In Dunamis. In Nigeria. Inside church. They went and arrested people. Not knowing that these are the guys in Jerusalem, in Zion, as agents of darkness. They went and arrested them, caged them, locked them up. It was even difficult for them to be released. And the Bible said, What to Ariel? To Ariel, the city where David dwelt, add year to year, let them kill sacrifices. Mm. You lift it up. Ozingo, Ozingo, praise the Lord. Bring your tithes and offering. Ozingo, Ozingo, come and support the church. Build even the castle and the church. God is saying, yes, I will distress Ariel. And there shall be heaviness and sorrow. And it shall be unto me as Ariel, the city of Jerusalem. And I will camp against thee round right about, and will lay siege against thee with a man, with a seed wall, fireworks, and I will raise faults against thee, saith the Lord. You defy Zion. You go to church to defy the church, to defy the body of Christ. You go to church to attack a pastor, to attack a member in the church. Those who came to worship God in truth and in spirit. I'm not talking about um, uh, what, what do you call what, what do you call it? Hypocrites. You go to do all these things to them. The Bible said that you will be distressed. You'll be distressed. And thou shall be brought down. You shall be brought down. You set up a church in order to destroy people. You shall be brought down. Ritualists in the vineyard of God, listen to what the Lord is saying. You shall be brought down and shall speak out of the ground. And thy speech shall be low out of the dust. And thy voice shall be as of one that had a familiar spirit out of the ground. And thy speech shall whisper out of the dust. You will not survive it. 
Yes, you have made millions. You claim to be a pastor, yet you are an agent of darkness. You claim to be a Christian, yet you are an agent of darkness. The Lord has seen all the kinds of things you bring to church. Lift up your tithes and offering. And then your own envelope is bigger than every other person, including those working with you, that you took their own and added to, your, to yours. You didn't give them their due. You took their own, added it to your own, and then you are bringing tithe out of these things and bring it to the Lord. They have become an abomination. Drop it. And the Lord will not see it. The Lord will even remember you more and more. What you have done to others. The blood you have shared in your place of work. The blood you have shared in the place where you do business. The people you have cheated. Verse 2 says, yet will I distress you. Verse 3 says, and I will camp against thee round about. Anywhere you go, the Lord will hunt you down. And for those outside Zion that are attacking the body of Christ, that are attacking Christians and churches, listen to what the Lord says. <laughs> Moreover, the multitude of thy strangers shall be like small dust. You strangers attacking the body of Christ, the Lord will beat you down to tiny small dust. Dust. You will be like dust. You will be grounded into powder. You will become insignificant. And the multitude of the terrible ones shall be as chaff. You that you have unleashed your omniscience against the people of God. You have unleashed your terror against the people of God. The Bible says, and the Lord speaketh through his word, that you all shall become chaffed in no distant future. That passeth away. You will become chaffed. Chaffed that passeth away. You will become chaffed. Yeah, it shall be at an instant, suddenly, 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 you will realize that you are on the brink of destruction, suddenly. Now you think you have power. Suddenly, will the law come to the rescue of the children? And suddenly, will you be destroyed? Suddenly will you be grounded like powder. Suddenly will you be blown away like chaff. This is what the Lord says. <laughs> Verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder. Isaiah 29 verse 6. All you oppressors of the people of God. You oppressors of those who serve God in truth and in spirit, in the family. The Bible says, and the Lord speaketh through his word. He said that you shall be visited of the Lord with thunder. The Lord will visit you with thunder. And with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. You will not escape the wrath of the Lord. You that have imagined evil in your hearts against the children of God, you will not escape it. The Lord will visit you with thunder. The Lord will visit your enemies with thunder. You people of God, you that dwell in Zion, you that are connected with the Son of God, You that are connected with this commission. The Lord will fight your battle. The Lord will visit your enemies with thunder. The Lord will visit your enemies with wild wind. The Lord will visit your enemies with devouring fire. As it is written here. The Lord will visit your enemies with earthquake. 
if they fail to repent. And so it is better for them to repent than to be visited of the Lord with thunder, earthquake, devouring fire. And verse 7 says, And the multitude of all the nations that fight, fight against Ariel, against the church, even all that fight against her and her fortresses and her munitions, and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision. It shall be as a dream. The way you will disappear, peer within the night, the Lord who has swept you out. For Zion belongs to God. For God is stepping into the case of Zion. And things are changing. It shall even be as when I am Hungry man dreameth, and behold, he eats, but he awakes, and his soul is empty. Or as when a thirsty man dreams, and behold, he drinks, but he he awakes, and behold, he is faint. He becomes thirsty, and his soul had appetite. So shall the multitude of all the nations. Those that are supporting evil in Nigeria. Those that are supporting evil in your family. Those that are joining forces with witches and wizards to destroy the people of God, to attack you, brother. The Lord will wipe them out. So shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion. Mount Zion shall remain at ease because the Lord owns Zion. The Lord owns Zion. Stay yourselves and wonder. Stay yourself and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Hmm. You shall be amazed. You are mocking the body of Christ now. Every day, when they go to church, when they go to worship their Lord, you mock them. This one is hungry. That is why he he, he said he's a pastor. He, he, he said he said he's a pastor. He, he said he's a pastor. Look at look at look at him now. Does he look like a pastor? I mean, look at this claiming every hungry person will just rise up and say he's a pastor. Don't worry. <laughs> just be calm. Be calm. You will be amazed what the Lord is about to do. He will step in. I saw one little boy. One little boy. I forgot the name of that boy. I saw it on uh, uh, online. I think it was on Facebook. I even shared it on my wall. A small boy. A small boy. From me here or something. In Anambra State. Small boy. Carrying box. I mean speaker box. Preaching the word of God. And some people accosted him and said, Ah, small boy, you are, you are too young. What? And the, when they were speaking, even broken... English to him, and he was speaking good, fluent English. Why are you not in school? He said, there is no money to pay my school fees. But this guy speaks very fluently, like somebody who, who, who had been to Cambridge. I was listening, and something spoke to me. That God will use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. And when he was asked, where is your father? First of all, he was asked, where is your mother? He said, my mother is dead. Where is your father? My father is in Iyala. Doing what? What's, what does he do? He said, he's a native doctor. He said, which doctor? Ah. And, okay, what about your brothers and your sister? How many uh, How many children? He said, there are, three, there are three or four. Three. He said, where are the other two? He said, they are all dead. The mother is dead. The children, the, the brothers, or the, the siblings are dead. Only him remaining. 
and the father who is a witch doctor, maybe the one that is killing them. But this guy carried microphone, carried speakers, dragging a small boy on the street and preaching the word of God. And there is something that this guy said that touched me. He said, are you not afraid that uh, they, they asked him, are you not afraid that uh, you... He said, no, I know that God will remember me one day. I know that God will remember me one day. Oh my God. His mother is dead. His father, who may be the one responsible for the destruction of the mother and the other children, is there still doing some fetish things. And this boy is faced. I'm sure that man had driven, had driven, uh, had driven him out of the house. And this guy is carrying box. I don't even know who bought that box for him. God will bless the person who bought that speaker for him. He's preaching on the streets. Preaching. And those of us, some of us have been have been born again since 30 years, 30 something years, 20 something years. We cannot even preach the word of God. We can't. Why? Because our mission to, to the body of Christ is different. It's not, we're not seeking. We are not there for God. We are just there for miracles, signs, and wonders. Be careful, my friend. Be careful. Learn from this boy. For the Lord had poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. As you begin to do evil in the body of Christ, the Lord will pour out unto you the spirit of deep sleep and he will close your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, had he covered so that they will prophesy and see rubbish for you. And then you will be destroyed with them. And the visions of all has become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. They are not working. They a book that is sealed cannot be opened anymore. Even if they prophesy, it will not work. And so you need to repent. You need to rethink. What is your mission to the body of Christ? Quit men deliver to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is already sealed. Don't allow your life to be sealed. Don't allow God to seal your life so that no prayer will penetrate you, so that no prophecy will find you. Even the one that will find you have nonsense prophecies, things that will not come to pass. Because your life has already been sealed. Brother, sister, you are already in the church. Repent. Be born again. Try and do something different this year. This month, do something different. Look for a way to preach Christ and see that those books shall be opened again. The book of remembrance shall be opened so that the Lord can bless you again. Verse 12, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Verse 13 of Isaiah 29. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as these people draw near me with their mouth, not with their hearts, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart from, far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. You only fear what the man says, not what God says. You see these guys in the church? This is what the Lord is saying in verse 13. They are in the church. They claim to be believers. They claim to be born again. But you see, in as much as it's only in their lips and in their mouth, not in their heart. They have no fear of the Lord any longer. They can do whatever they like. After all, they say there is grace, grace, grace. Will you continue in sin because grace abound? That is a question. Allow the Lord to step into your case. Allow God to step into your case 
and remove that seal over your destiny. Your life is like a sealed book. Your destiny has been sealed by Satan. Your conscience has been sealed by Satan. Allow the Lord to unseal it. For he is ready to step in. You follow the, you only fear men. Follow the doctrines of men. My papa say, my bishop say, my distance say, you no longer talk of Christ. No, 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 no. No more fear of the Lord. It's not fear of uh, what the papa said. And that is why there are so many eye service in the body of Christ. Eye service everywhere. Verse 14. Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among these people. Whether you like it or not, you cannot stop me blessing Zion. That's what God is saying. You are in the body of Christ and you are not ready to receive. You are not ready to, to open up to God, to serve God with your heart, with all your heart and all your mind. God said, you cannot even stop me from blessing these people. You cannot stop me from blessing Zion. And therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among these people, even a marvelous work. And a wonder, miracle will still continue. The blessings of God will still continue, no matter what you and your enemies are doing against the church. For the wisdom of their wise, of their wise men, shall perish. And the understanding of their prudent men shall be hidden. And one unto them that seek deep to hide their cancer from the Lord. And their works are in the dark. Uh, that you do. You hide it. You cannot hide it. Your works are in the dark. You are a member of Oboni fraternity. You are a member of Lodge. Yet you come to church. You come to the body of Christ. You think you can stop the hand of God from touching them. You think you, 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 you can seal the books of those who serve God. The truth and the spirit. Your works are in dark. You conceal all your acts. And they say, who sees us? <laughs> and who knows us? Verse 16, remember, brother. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? I understand all that you are doing. I know you from the beginning. I know what you can do. I know what you can do. You have failed to repent. You are still continuing with evil, even in, in, in Zion. To stop people, to slow down. So for people to say, ah, church, church, church. The people are talking against the church because of you. People are saying all kinds of things because of you. But he said he will still go ahead to bless the church. And single those people out and deal with them. Is it not yet a very little while? And Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest. Those people that you think that you are finished, you look fruitful now. <laughs> you look, you look blossoming now. Those people are languishing in poverty, distress, poverty headquarters of the world. Yet, many of you are flying and having three or four, four aircraft, four jets, and you think you are enjoying. The Bible says you shall become desolate. These things that you have shall be reversed, shall be taken back by the owners. And God will give it back to them. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth. And in that day, 
shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. Even those that refuse to be born again shall be born again. When they see what has happened to you, you evil doers, you agents of darkness, you that you say you preach peace, whereas it is war that you are bringing to the people of God. The Lord will turn things around against you. And the people in Zion shall rejoice and be glad in him. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord. And the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to nothing. And the scorner and the the scanner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. All those that supervise iniquity shall be cut off. Very soon shall it be in a little while that all these things will happen. Very soon. Zion will triumph over evil. Zion will triumph over Satan and his agents of darkness. And those agents of darkness will perish and be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Christ. So shall it be even as I pray for you today, your life will turn around from today. The Lord will step into your case from today. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, from this moment, this Sunday, from this Sunday, things will begin to turn around your life. From this seventh day of November, seven is a perfect number. 11 is a number that belongs to the children of light. I prophesy from today, the 7th of November, 2021, that the Lord will step into your face. The Lord will step into your case. The Lord will step into your face. The Lord will step into your going out and your coming in. You will go out and you will succeed. All good plans that you have, you will succeed. You will succeed. The Lord will bring it to come to pass. Go out in the might of the Lord this week. Go and possess your possessions. Any step you take, the Lord will step in with you. Any plan that you have to succeed this week, the Lord will step in with you. Even as you subscribe to our channel, even as you subscribe to this channel, even as you follow us on all our social media, even as you follow us on Facebook, even as you follow us on Instagram, even as you follow us on TikTok, even as you follow us on YouTube, even as you subscribe to our channels on YouTube, the Lord will subscribe to your life. The Lord will subscribe to your face. The Lord will subscribe to your journey and will move you up, move you with him so that you can succeed. You will never be stranded. As you support us, and at this moment, I want to pray for those that have been supporting this channel. Those that have been supporting this ministry, Beautiful Gate International Christian Center and Beautiful Gate Assembly. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let there be open heavens from today. Open heavens. Let there be rains of abundance. Rains of multiplication. Rains of favor. Let it follow you. Let it follow you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
all our returning subscribers, all our new subscribers, receive the open heavens of God. Receive it and be blessed forever. Receive it and be blessed forever. You and your household, you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't share us of this message. You are blessed. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will never be stranded. You will never be stranded. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your children will never be stranded. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your children will never be vagabonds. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will eat the goose of the land. Wherein you dwell, you will eat the goose of that land, you will eat the harvest of that land. This year, 2021, will be a year of turnaround in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if you believe it, shout a better amen. Shout a better amen. Begin to share, even as you shout a better amen. Share and share for more grace, for more uh, abundant blessings. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.